Hey, what's up, everybody? Today I will share you how to create a Wonder Woman new movie title. So these are the Wonder Woman real title. So it's really nice. Title animation. So you can see here lot of minute detailing. So the echo effects and some light bursting. So let's start how to create this title in After Effects. So it's very easy. See here you can see minute detailing. Anyway, open your After Effects and create a new composition. You can create and name it uh, Wonder Woman title or anything else and select a HD 20 full HD 1080 and change the frame rate into 30 and duration it's up to you 5 second 10 second anyway create a new composition plus uh, now just import any background because to pop up your title uh, the night mode is always better the night photography is better so i just import one image you can download this image this image included in the project file so you can download the project file from description window anyway just import the image and also you can import um, i just log the image because now it's you can you can't select the image so i just log the layer it's helpful for workflow anyway i just save the project file now also you can import the music for better synchronize the you can synchronize the animation based on the music i just import the uh, music also from the trailer and just adjust the music position and now we don't need to see this one so you can shy this layer click on here now if you click on here you, you can hide the shy layer so it's not visible in timeline but it's active so it also helpful for your workflow anyway create your text 2020 i just wrote the 2020 text and here you can see make it center and change the alignment into center also and change the character font into Montserrat black because we need a more bold font anyway just increase the size and increase the tracking also you can set it to 150 in tracking anyway, we are almost ready now let us start animation so if you um, if you drop down this text so you can access in here animate so click on here and add a uh, position so you can add a position value because we have to animate in position so in here you can see the x and y axis but we need 3d Depth. so you have to enable the pre 3d and character so click here and the animator one click here property and in top you can see enable pre character 3d just click on there now you can see your position value three values x y z the depth also you can access now so just increase the value you can set it to 1500 2000 anyway now here drop down the range selector set the you can see you can range you can select the range so anyway set the start into 100 then now it's become zero the bed then increase the end from zero to 100 now you will get the animation so uh, set the timeline play head at the beginning and set a keyframe in n value at zero and move the play head little bit forward and set the n value 100 so you can animate the value so it's very slow 
you can animate based on the the rhythm the music so anyway you have to animate in the n value from 0 to 100 that's it so now in here only you can add yeah i think it's based on rhythm also it's fine now anyway you can add again the property scale so set the scale into zero so you can see the animation coming from zero and also you can add i think you have to change the position now also you can add the rotation value also sorry you can add rotation also so add property again rotation now here you can change the rotation value into minus 100 or minus 75 so a slight rotation you you will get anyway you have to create an animation like this it's not necessary this rotation and scale but it's look little fine so anyway create another animate and add a animation in opacity because we don't need opacity in fill so just add a opacity in fill and here character window i think i lost the character window anyway here you you have to enable you have to change the care the text color into something like this and uh, you have to enable the stroke for this text so you can apply here and fill over stroke and increase the stroke size and change the stroke size into change the stroke color into light violet and you can also change the stroke width into five or three i think three is fine anyway just add a stroke and fill for your text we already created an animation and now decrease the fill opacity so here they only decrease the fill opacity but you can visible the stroke in opacity 100 like this see here now let's create this echo fx for this you have to select your text and go to window and fx and preset here you can search every fx so just search echo and apply the echo fx for your text and set the value into minus uh, 0 0.050 see you can see here now the problem you can see only one echo they will generate but we need a little bit more so you can set the number into four now they will see they will generate a little bit more echoes and you can change the uh, i think you have to change the stroke value into three and change the decay into 0.5 and change the blending mode into operator into screen see so now we are done with echo now apply the next fx uh, glow apply the glow for this so you can increase glow threshold into 74 or 80 now it's like your system now become a little heavy so it's take time to render anyway so it's almost done now we have to enhance our title animation a little bit see almost echo we have now we need this light streak so select your text and select in fx and preset select cc light burst 2.5 so apply this fx for our text so the problem 
here if you are playing you can see the problem the lights the is bursting into forward but actually we need into backward so i just hide the glow so if you want to see here it's the burst into backward so here you can change the length rare length into minus 30 or minus 50 is fine i think minus minus 50 is fine see now you can change the you can animate in this intensity and rare length see the problem the ending also look like this but the ending we need pure animation so you can animate the uh, value in intensity and ray length so add a keyframe for both values and at the end moment uh, if you press u in keyboard you can access the keyframe then end moment you have to set zero for both value so it's look like see this you'll get an animation like exactly. you're almost done now uh, you have to add some extra effects i think you can change this keyframe value it's not a necessary but you can adjust the keyframe these values anyway now you can see here glows so you can add some light uh, light streak or you know go to here and search light sweep light sweep uh, light sweep apply the light sweep here you can see light sweep if you move the center value if you change the center value you can change the position of this light sweep so you can animate and you can increase the width of this light sweep i just increase the width into 75 now from here i need to move this light sweep so apply here and add a keyframe in center value and move your playhead a little bit forward and move your center value your light streak so, sorry light sweep anyway i think this is too fast if you press u in keyboard you can access the old keyframe so just move the n keyframe of light sweep little bit forward so the animation will become little slow so now you can see the light sweep moving so if you want you can increase the width a little bit more okay anyway uh, apply the light sweep again because we need different light sweep so apply the same thing apply the same uh, keyframe in center for second light sweep but the timing is little bit different little so from here to there so the same thing before we done and apply the third light sweep and you can add see here you can add into here so this thing start from here add a keyframe in center at the end move your light sweep till here i think that's better you can increase the width a little bit more into 76 or 85 something like that okay anyway it's 54 if you play your animation you will get something like this almost look like this see the light sweep that's why we added three different light sweep. You can see all that light sweep here. Anyway, now we almost done. Then let's check what else we have to do. I think we have to add some hue and saturation because we have to change the color value. So if you increase the hue and decrease the hue, you can see the color change so go to the first frame and add a keyframe in color range and go to the last or the middle frame and change the hue into 
el hay no i think we need little pink color and beginning i think if you press the u in keyboard you can access all the key and move the first few fr key frame into the player position and change the starting into little yellow or greenish then back to move the um, yeah we almost done it's done see you can you will get the you can increase the saturation a little bit more i think it's too heavy so you can move the last keyframe and make it to center okay we are done see it is beginning from we are done that's it now if you want to change your text just double click and change your text and you will get the same animation in same style but you can use this style as a preset no matter so you can change your text into it's almost same so we forgot one thing we have to add some bevel for better so you can add bevel and bevel alpha just apply the bevel alpha and increase the value in edge thickness into 10 or 9 and i think 7 in between 7 and 10 is fine i set into 8 I think this is fine and you can change the angle light of angle this is no no matter you can choose any angle and here you can select the light colors just select the pink color okay you are done so you can create you can use this title as a templates just change your text export use it in your social media so hope you enjoyed if you have any doubts please comment it below and if you want any other movie title please comment it Thank you.